So, solo, get plenty of game on. There it goes, So that uh, is using a few different techniques there, lots of hammer-ons, lots of uh, vibrato, lots of pull-offs, all that sort of stuff. That's the sort of stuff that's going to make you sound more of a professional guitarist um, than just someone who just sort of sits there. Okay, <laughs> um, although um, vibrato is the best thing a guitarist can possibly hope for. <laughs> you can do the brow in so many different ways. You can do it to make something sound more sweet. You can do it to make sound, something sound more aggressive. So if you're into that wild, you can even throw in a little uh, you know, pinch harmonics as well. Um, so let's go through the solo. Um, starting off with, as I say, uh, some hammer ons. Bend on the B string, uh, on the G string at the B note. We're going up and down. And then when we get to this um, D note on the B string, what we're going to do, rather than just pick it straight, it should sound fine. But what we're going to do is we're actually going to add a little tap harmonic. So what you do whenever you're doing tap harmonic, you're going to play that note. But rather than just playing it straight, we're going to tap it. Without using and uh, <laughs> use my middle finger and tap that same note but just up the octave. So there's lots of different ways of doing that. Some people would pick the note with their pick with this hand and tap it. That's probably the better way of doing it, but it's just a little bit harder. And if you're in the middle of doing something quite fast, it's hard to be precise. Whereas I just think if you smack it nice and hard, you get a pretty good effect as well. Okay, so let's throw that all together. Down this little pattern here. But again, we're not going to do it as simply as that. We're going to tap every note. Okay, and when you've got your delay on. Um, so let's go through that pattern again. So one, two, three, four, one. Exact same thing again, pretty much note wise, just up the octave. Um, so we're going to start, you can even start on the G note here, or sometimes it's easier to just start with the octave and then another hammer on, using doing all the same things just above the octave. So. Okay, so all I can say is that again. But this time we're not going to go to this note or this note, we're going to go to the G note here. slide down just a semitone to the F sharp. And then another semitone down to the F. Um, and this is where we do like a little um, a little sweep. Okay, so there's another technique I didn't mention before, it's a little sweep. It's dead easy, it's actually a major seventh sweep. <laughs> The trick to this sort of thing tends to be have your fingers sort of ready and just pick and just press them down as your pick comes to it. Okay? And then when we get to that E note on the end, so we're going to go, um, and then we're going to get to this note on the B string here, it's the 13th fret, and then a little semitone pull down. So it's quite confusing that one, because it's the same note, but it's just a slight less bit of a pressure on the string. So let's go through all that part again. So we're going to go... So it's quite odd, that last note. And then we're going to finish on the G note. A G chord, even down here. 
So let's play the whole solo. Like I say, I'll stick a bit of delay on because it makes it sound pretty cool. Here we go. <laughs> And this is where we do everything the same as we normally would for the chorus. So we start with a little stab. I'm gonna do what I want for a living, I'm gonna get my... And then instead of going to D, we go to F sus4. So that's like playing an F a power chord, but you're just adding in an extra finger down here. And then to the main chord. Okay, so I'm gonna do what I want for a living, I'm gonna get my... And then we go through the whole riff again that we did here in the open when we were playing in E, but now we change key, we're in G. And then you're going to go, like we went before, A to B, it was chromatic. But this time we're going to go C to D. Okay, so we'll put the whole thing together. So one, two, solos from me and Josh. I can't show you what Josh does, uh, that's his own thing. But what I suggest you do with this, if you do want to learn this song, is try and do your own little improvisations, because it's really easy to improvise over this bit. Because the chords, just... I do is this, which is, I get a little bit of a rip off, it's from, um, what song am I thinking of, Spirit of Radio, uh, and I just took that and sort of changed it around for myself, which is what you guys do, okay, and then Josh does this, We just sort of keep trading legs. <laughs> and, and then we just keep messing around doing different things. If you want to go really, really good, you just do a little bit of tapping. That sort of stuff. Or like lots and lots of uh, pick up. you've done that, I think it's eight times, eight times through that whole thing. <laughs> Going through that again and again. And then um, we have this last little section, which is kind of a lot like how we finish off each chorus. So, you remember that from before, from the chorus? But then we're going to repeat those last few notes. Okay, 
so we're going to go... Again, lots of use of that blues scale. And then a little drop down now to the F. That's it. Uh, what we'll do is uh, keep trying to post videos like this from time to time. Um, I hope you have fun messing around with this song, learning it, and show it to your mates. And um, you know, spread the word about the fallout the best way you can. If, uh, if there's any questions or whatever, just leave them in the bottom, and I'll try my best to uh, get back to you. Um, and if you want to insult me, say it again. <laughs> all right. Thank you very much, and hopefully see you again soon. Check out all the websites. Can I insult you, Bill? Yeah, go on. I think you're fucking prick. <laughs> Who's the one playing guitar? Who's the one holding the camera? Can't even see you. No, you can't. Now we got this. The 20 Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Non stop! <laughs> non stop, John! <laughs>